Okay, hi everyone. So uh, it's Lynn here, MCVPFL. And today I'll be talking a little bit about um, IGP preparation audit criteria, uh, especially in terms of finance and legalities criteria. Yeah, so I think let's go uh, very quick into like the objective of why do we actually set FL criteria for IGP project audit and all those things. Uh, mainly is to prioritize project sustainability in FL and synergize with um, IGV and BD to achieve long-term sustainability for the product. Yeah, so with that, I think over here is just basically um, the overview of the criteria on uh, how to actually make sure that everyone can pass the preparation audit itself. So I think you can see over here, there's actually six criteria and uh, mainly I will go very quick from the left to right, which is the uh, first one basically is on uh, monthly budget. So I think over here is just to make sure that everything is updated until the submission month itself. Uh, make sure that like they like all the spaces are being filled and um like as much as possible try to um uh, avoid any misalignment of like the fixed cost and everything. Yeah. So coming by with that definitely also on budget alignment. So I think it's just also more on hundred percent actual alignment, especially on the monthly actual um data. For NYB approval as well as BD sales one, yeah. So with that, uh, the third one is actually on profit strategies. I think over here is just to make sure that it is hundred percent updated on the progress and the status itself. And you can see a fourth one is actually for risk management. But I think for here is just one highlight, especially for hybrid projects. So we will be especially checking on whether are there um at least three physical risks being identified, meaning that is there like any risk identified for physical operation for hybrid projects or not. Yeah, so this criteria is uh, especially for hybrid projects on here. Then coming back to cash flow, it's just more on like, if you have any um, revenue or expenses incurred and then there's already cash out for an info, then you need to update in that tab itself as well. So um, the last one is on legalities. So I think over here is just more on the signed agreements um, on like either the MYV or like FP, LP, SP or even OP if there's any. Yeah, so just make sure it is updated and signed and uploaded. Yeah, so I'll go very quickly also in details about how to make sure that um, these criteria can be fulfilled. So you can see over here, this is on budget G, uh, budget VVA itself. Then um, over here is just to ensure that all columns are filled up accordingly for all revenues and expenses, um, i.e. there's no blank spaces. Uh, yeah, meaning if it's zero, uh, then you can just put RM zero like that, just like how the upper uh, screenshot is. Um, yeah, then I think over here also to um, highlight the fact that like all the uh, accounts should be updated until the latest month of submission and all the revenue and expenses incurred um, are expected to be recorded in this budget tab. Uh. So with that, definitely also looking into BD and IGB alignment. Then I think over here also uh, um, attach on like the respective links that um, you guys can double confirm on the alignment part. So especially in the case of BD, it's just to make sure that if there is any self one or any MOA being signed already, then it means that the revenue is being realized, especially either for FP, for in kinds and all those things. Yeah, so make sure to align it with the project sales distribution sheet over here. And then I think for IGV wise, it's more on the MYV approval, right? Meaning the number of approvals should be aligned with like the total amount of MYV in financial terms itself. So if you wish to check on like exactly uh, how many approvals um, you guys manage, manage to get, then you can also check on IGV MYV database over there. So with that, I think this is on profit strategy. So over here is just to make sure that, you know, uh, I believe that everyone have already uh, during your opening audit uh, to have all the strategies in place already, planned out already as well. So just to make sure that the statuses are updated, like i.e. is it done, is it in progress or is it not done? So I think the difference between in progress and not done is mainly the fact that in progress means that um, you guys will still be working on it itself. Uh, where the not done part is meaning that you will not execute this action even in like uh, future months and all those things. Yeah. So with that, uh, I think just go very quickly with the hybrid risk management as well because um, I understand that everyone should already have like all the risk management uh, in place. But over here, it's just to make sure for those that are running hybrid projects, like uh, specifically for it, like, make sure to have at least three risks identified for physical operation. Yeah. 
So here is just on the cash flow part. Then I think for this tab itself, it's basically we will more or less align with the budget tab as well. Because for budget tab, all the revenue and expenses will be uh, recorded in accrual basis. While for cash flow, it will be recorded in cash basis. So I think it's just uh, more on like if there's any cash inflow or outflow, like meaning if you receive like bank transfer from your uh, MYV itself, then make sure to also put it in here as part of the cash inflow. Yeah. So lastly, it will be on legalities. Then I think for legalities wise also, uh, just to make sure in preparation audit phase, all the documents signed should be documented in PDF format, meaning that not in um, like Google Doc format and everything. And it should be signed with date and time. Yeah, so this should already uh, be under the latest template itself, just to make sure uh, to remind everyone again to have the date and time uh, along with the signature. Lah. Yeah, so I think over here definitely for um, the uh, documentation part, like for MYV sign MOA, it will be usually under the uh, IGV MYV database itself. And then for other sign MOA part, it will be uh, it should be over here, like, meaning that in the DMF legalities tracker here. Yeah. So make sure that if you have any LR, uh, any OP or LP, SP, they already have the agreement being signed, make sure to also update it over here. Okay. Yeah. So I think that's all actually for, uh, yeah, that's all actually for the FL criteria. It's quite straightforward and uh, I wish everyone good luck for your uh, preparation audit. Yeah. Thank you.